He's at it again. Hi again, everyone, and welcome into Radio Row here in Los Angeles. I'm James Rapine of AllBengals.com and Cincinnati Bengals Talk, and we're just a few days away from Super Bowl 56, Bengals, Rams. Can Joe Burrow lead this team to a world championship, their first world championship in team history? The last quarterback to lead the Bengals to the Super Bowl was Boomer Esiason way back in 1988. Joey B in year two it has done just that. Can they get it done? Well, our prediction video will, will be out uh, in the coming, well, probably next 24 hours. We're depending. It might be on Friday afternoon. Also going to have plenty of other stuff for you and have had plenty of other stuff for you. Hopefully you've seen all of it from Andrew Hawkins. We talked to him. Uh, we were able to catch up with Greg Cosell of the NFL matchup show and NFL films to break down the X's and O's of this game. He chatted with Lindsey Patterson. At least Jesse went one-on-one -on -one with Andrew Whitworth. Congrats to him on winning Man of the Year. And speaking of awards... Joe Burr, a.k.a. Joe Burrow, wins Comeback Player of the Year. Well-deserved. He should have won it. Jamar Chase absolutely should have won Offensive Rookie of the Year. And we nailed those predictions, by the way. Didn't think Zach Taylor would win Head Coach of the Year. Um, I also didn't think he would only get two votes. So that's kind of wild to me. But Mike, Mike Vrabel won that award. And overall, uh, I certainly agree with Joe Burrow, Comeback Player of the Year, and Jamar Chase, Offensive Rookie of the Year. But despite all of the awesome stuff going around this team, right? It, it, and it's awesome. Carson Palmer always seems to say something to get everybody going. And of course he did that again uh, this week on NBC Sports. He's being asked about the Bengals and naturally instead of, and I, you know, he's, he's trying to be fair. I understand that and give the big picture outlook. But it comes across as a guy who never got it done who had sour grapes on his way out of Cincinnati and hasn't really let it go or hasn't paid attention to Joe Burrow. Here's what Carson Palmer had to say on NBC Sports earlier this week. I think Joe's going to sit back after this game, win or lose, and be like, man, am I, am I going to re-sign with this team? Are they willing to do what it takes to continuously build to get back to the next Super Bowl? How are they willing to structure salary cap-wise to be able to afford me, but to also be able to afford Jamar Chase when he comes up, or T. Higgins. Maybe even redo this offensive line that's given up a league-leading 54 sacks, I yeah. believe, this year. Th that That's an issue. And I know I know it's easy to say, well, that, that's the offensive line that got him to the Super Bowl. But Joe's not thinking about this one Super Bowl. Joe is thinking about getting seven. And he knows that in order for him to re-sign, he's got a ton of leverage. Yeah. And this organization needs to show they're going to beef up the scouting department, something I wasn't able to get done when I, when I ran through that wall that I ran through. I mean, <laughs> it's ridiculous, right? It's just, what are you doing? Have you not paid attention to what Joe Burrow has said? And, of course, the Bengals need to fix their offensive line. They also don't need to be worried about paying Jamar Chase. That, that's ridiculous. Right now, you need to think about paying Jamar Chase. He's in year one, finishing year one of his rookie contract. Then year two, you still have two more years after that, plus the fifth-year option. There's, it's ridiculous to me. This team is going to look completely different when it's time, probably, to when it's time to pay Jamar Chase. Offensive line, absolutely they need to upgrade the offensive line. But to make those comments... And pretend like this organization hasn't committed and spent big money in free agency the past two off-seasons to get to this point. That they haven't hit in the draft to get to this point. I don't know what you're watching, Carson. And, and that's the part. That's the sour grapes. That's the bitter X. That's the, the, the thing. That, that's how it comes off. And, yeah, were things different when, when Carson Palmer was a member of the Bengals? Absolutely. But the outrage that comes his way after saying that, what do you expect? What do you expect people to say when Joe Burrow in his second season has taken the Bengals to a place that you never got close to? And you're talking about him and how he should question the organization and the direction of the organization. But in Joe Burrow's eyes, the past two seasons, because I'm not saying the Bengals are perfect, they're not. But the past two seasons, past two off seasons, what have they done? This organization has tried to get the right pieces in place for Joe Burrow. Have they got the offensive line right? No, they haven't. Do they need to? Absolutely. Is there a time and place for that? Absolutely. And I don't think it's, man, 
whether they win or lose, I think Joe Burrow needs to reevaluate the, you know, the organization long term. Should he be able to play? I think you're reaching, Carson. I think you're reaching. And and that's it's one of those things. Yeah, I mean and you, you might be right on the fact, you know, the offensive line part of it. But again, why would Burrow reevaluate his position? His position is different than yours was when you were playing quarterback for the Bengals. His viewpoint, his perspective on things. Because they've pushed. They've done what they needed to do to give him a, a really good defense and a weapon at kicker and all these weapons all over the field, which will be the biggest reason why this offense is able to overcome their issues in the trenches if they can do so on Sunday. Uh, you know, I mean, every team has a weakness. The Rams have weakness, right? Uh, the Bengals have weaknesses. And the Bengals are going to have to address it this offseason. But they're in the freaking Super Bowl. I don't think Joe Burrow needs to reevaluate the long-term interest viability of the Bengals. I think that's a, a bit overblown. I think that's a bit silly to throw out there. Um, and, you know, it, it's Carson Palmer's perspective. That's fine. But to me, it's ridiculous. It really is. Because this team has really tried to win. And they've built a winner quickly since Joe Burrow got into the league. That's what he knows. Why would he be reevaluating anything when they've gotten it right much more than they've gotten it wrong over the past two off seasons? Before you make those Super Bowl plans or, or you finish all of your Super Bowl planning, maybe you're, you're planning that outfit. You know, I know a lot of fans get their outfit together. You need to get to Rivertown Inquiry. They're open in Hyde Park on Madison Avenue, uh, Hyde Park, Oakley area, Madison Avenue, about 10 minutes from downtown. I know a lot of you are going to the Bengals Pro Shop, but... Rivertown Inquiry has awesome sweaters. They have our official Bengals Tiger Print Lock shirt that you need to get. They have plenty of awesome orange and black memorabilia shirts, sweaters, hoodies, uh, my Bengals Rocks bourbon glass. Hey, yeah, that's a must for Super Bowl Sunday. So get there right now uh, in person, Madison Road. You can check them out at rivertowninquiry.com as well. Doug and his team do it up big. So check them out. And check us out. We're going to have our prediction video coming in a bit. We're also going to have uh, more from Radio Row, more from Los Angeles between now and Sunday. And Carson Palmer, stop it. Just stop it. For Andrew Fox Miller, I'm James Rapine signing off for now right here at Radio Row in Los Angeles.